And for our next one, we're going to do something called edge degrade. Um, this you're going to find probably useful beyond just this tutorial. This um, this is an effect that uh, that can be used quite a bit to create uh, like an authentic feel for the edges of a page or or something like that. Um, so same uh, same dimensions on all these except for the very last one, but this one also 8 by 10 at 300 DPI or pixels per inch. Move it over here. Okay, so this one uh, we want to select all. So you do that by command A. So it selects your entire canvas. Now over here um, with your, your color picker thing um, or your foreground and background color I should say, uh, you want your foreground color to actually be black. So hit this uh, arrow right here and it'll just switch colors or X does the same thing. Okay, so black being the foreground, we want to go up to image, or excuse me, edit, stroke, and we want that to be 12 pixels. And we also want it to be set to inside here. So that should just basically give you a border like that. Okay, and then the next thing we want to do is we want to go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. In Gaussian Blur, we want to set that to 40, so it creates sort of a soft edge there. And click OK there. Now this next trick is, again, Again with the clouds, render clouds. Overlay it, okay, again, shift, command F, but instead of fading it, we're actually gonna change the mode. So the mode here we want to screen on, and what you see is it breaks up that edge. Kinda looks like a pirate's map a little bit. Click okay there. And now we want to uh, colorize it a little bit. So the quick way to do that is command U brings up hue saturation. Click over here with colorize. And we want to change the hue to 50, so make it kind of a yellow. And we want the saturation to be 20. And that should do it. Okay. And that is our edge degrade. We forgot to label it when we started it. That's okay, we'll label it now. So this one we want to call Edge Degrade. There we go. Okay, 